And so the housewife and her husband hid behind the door in the pantry. And they looked, and they looked, and they looked. And finally the Tomta came in. He was a strange little man. He was about this big. He had a red pointy hat on. He had rags, not real clothes, nasty, dirty rags. And he looked happy. He took a sifter. Can you get a sifter in your hands? A sifter is what you use to you put flour in it and it makes it fluff up. And he took some grains. Take the grain and you put it in. And then he sift it. And sift it. And sift it. And takes another one and sift it. I saw behind you. This lady over here. That's what it looks like this. And sift it again. Sift it. And sift it. And sift it right in front of the eyes. The grains got double and double and double and double and double and double until the bin was full. And then the top, he was now covered in flour. He shook himself off. Can we shake ourselves? Swept the floor. And went on his way. Well, the wife was so excited. She said, oh, he was so good to us. We have to do something for him. The husband said, leave it as it is. You know, he was more conservative. Don't change anything. No, he was wearing rags. He has helped us all through the fall. I'm going to make clothes. I'm going to make new pants and a new shirt and a new jacket. And you know what? She did. And the next day, she went over and saw the bin was full again. And she took, let's take our flour. She took her flour. One, two, three. And she made some bread and cake and cupcake and scone and a muffin. And when she was finished, she hung the clothes. And then she and her husband. Can I borrow you? hid behind the door to see will the Tomte come and what will he say about his new clothes? Well, the Tomte came in. He looked at the bed and what did he see? What kind of clothes? New clothes. He said, new clothes, oh boy, oh boy, I love new clothes. He took the clothes. He took off his old clothes. Can we all take off our old clothes? Make believe. <laughs> and your underwear, of course. Don't show anybody, of course. Put on his new clothes. Put on the new shirt. Put on the new jacket. Put on the new hat. The new stockings and the new shoes. And he went over to the bin. Can you get your sifter out? My mother used a sifter that went like this. So you could do this sifter or this sifter or this sifter. I know that's a lot to think about. But I'm just letting you adults think about it. Kids, do what you want. So take your sifter and he took some brain. And he put it in and he sifted and sifted and sifted and sifted and sifted. He sifted and sifted and sifted and sifted and sifted and he got grain all over him. But this time he put it down and the Tonka looked at himself and he said, Oh no, I'm dusty all over. And he shook himself off, shook himself off. And he didn't even bother to sweep. He said, Junker Gran shall sift no more. I, Junker Gran, won't sift again. I, Junker Gran, will leave. Goodbye. <laughs>
from that time to this time. But you know, they always have been lucky. And any time that family has needed anything, they have what they need. So if you have a Tumpta and you want to keep him, you may not want to give him some nice clothes. But on the other hand, a good deed is always rewarded. Who here likes giants? Who here feels like a giant? <laughs> well, if you are, do you think you could jump like a giant? No, this giant doesn't jump. Okay, anyone else want to show us jumping giants? You heard of jumping jacks? Jump! 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 Okay, sit down. Wait till we come to that part. Because this is a story about jumping giant. Are you ready? Old Hawk Giant. Long, long time ago, love, I mean, like, I'm talking so long ago, there was a brother and another brother whose father left them a meadow. And, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And when the father died, the brothers were told that they had to mow the meadow together, and each of them would get half of the hay. Now, here's a problem came up. One of the brothers was very rich, and one of them was very poor. And the one that was very rich hired lots of men to do the work. And the one that was very poor had to do it all himself. And the one that was very rich didn't think it was fair. And he got mad. He got so mad that after a couple of years of this, he, I need somebody. Would anybody like to help me on this? Okay, I got two people, three people. Can I, should I take them in here? Three people. You know what? One. Who's the first? Did you have your hand up? Two, three. Come on up here. You guys, I want you to stay right there and do it where you are. Come up. One, two, three. Come stand over here. Can you be right here? You're going to... Well, the old brother said, the rich brother said to his poor brother, I'm tired of doing all the work. I want that whole meadow for myself. You don't do anything. The poor brother said, but please, I, I do what I can. It just takes me longer. No, I'm tired of this end. And I want the whole meadow to myself. But I'm a fair brother. You are my brother. I'm going to give you a chance. We're going to have a contest. Whoever wins the contest gets the whole meadow. Does that sound fair? Does that sound mean? You got it. Well, the, the brother who was rich, he didn't care. And he said, I don't care. I'll be back in three days. There'll be a contest. Whoever can mow more of one meadow in one day keeps the whole meadow. Ha, 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 ha. I'm always fair, brother. And he went away. And the poor brother started to cry. Can we all cry? He said, woe is me. Can we say that? What am I going to do? Well, all of a sudden, a great big giant hopped up in front of him. And the big giant said, my name is Hop Giant. Can you say it all together? I am a giant. And I don't like it. When people don't play fair, I know what happened with your big brother. I'm going to help you. And the poor brother said, wow, thanks. And Hop Giant said, all you need to do is call me. I'm the jumping giant. My name is Old Hop Giant. Call Old Hop Giant three times, and I'll help. Well, the time came for the cops.
contest. Are you guys ready? The time came, and, and the rich brother brought about 20 people to help him with big size to cut the grass. Can we cut it? Cut the grass. And the poor brother just came with himself. And the rich brother looked at him and said, ha, 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 ha. You don't look like you're doing anything. The poor brother just, oh. The rich brother said, oh, you look so silly. Oh. Well, it's time for the contest. Now, you know how you said start contest and races? You go, on your mark, get, and go! And the brother, the rich brother with his 20 mowers and workers, they just started coming. Yeah, can you help me cut? They cut, and they cut, and they cut, and they cut, and they cut. Oh, they were getting a whole lot. The poor brother didn't do anything, but he called out, oh, I'm going to need all of you to help me do this. We say, old hop giant, really loud. He called out, oh, hop giant. Nothing happened. He did it again. Nothing again, and the brother started laughing. <laughs> My brother's ridiculous. He's never going to get anywhere like that. But the brother yelled for the third time. You ready? Oh, Hop Giant! And Hop Giant popped three times. And old Hop Giant had a great big farm to the side. Can you get it up in here? And he cut. Can you help us? Because it's a lot. And he cut again. And again. And it looked like he was going to finish a whole meadow in a couple more swipes of his scythe when the rich brother, well, all his workers ran away. They were scared. I'd be scared if I saw a great big giant, wouldn't you? He came over the rich brother. Can you all help me? He... Kick. Is that a nice thing to do? Would any of you do that? No. I know. That's what happened with his brother. That brother kicked the giant and his foot stuck. That made him mad. So then he, can we do the other side? He kicked and the other foot stuck. And the, poor, the brother was stuck to hop giant. He started hopping. Can you guys hop and hopping? Anyone else want to hop? And hopping and hopping and hopping. Oh, he hopped and he hopped and he hopped until he hopped up in the air and disappeared. Can we give our hop giant here a great big round of applause? You guys can come back in. And that other giant. The giant disappeared with the brother, but the other brother, he lived happily ever after. The end.